Hello friends and followers. Well, I thought I should make a video on how to tune up a how to tune up a linear amplifier. In this case, it's going to be a Heathkit SB200 amplifier. And this is an old uh, Yesu FT102 radio. And so this radio has 361 46 tubes and it's very similar to tuning a linear amplifier. And okay, let's Let's do this all right. So the first thing I want to do then is get the radio to uh, match on 40 meters. So I'm on 40 meters here and you want to tune toward the middle of the band, I suppose, if you're going to work the whole thing. So you want to set your antenna tuner to the correct band. So we'll go to 40 and you can tune it for noise. So turn up your radio, get the most static this way to get close. See how that works. So that might be an approximation of where it might might uh, be able to tune out the SWR. Okay, and, and then on at least an FT-102, you want to do the pre-select first to get the um, 12 by 7 tube to resonate in all of its circuits. Then we'll give it some drive and some plate. So you put the FT-102 on the tune mode here. It goes to uh, CW wide. And then you want to use this MOX switch to activate the transmitter. And we'll put this on 200 watts here. Actually, we'll put this on set because we're going to set this pin to our calibrate mode on the uh, watt meter here. So the first thing we're going to do, get the plate to resonate and then do our set and adjust out the uh, SWR on the 40 meter antenna. So let's do that. So we'll go to transmit here. And oh, you got to turn the heaters on. So. Turn on the tubes, forgot about that. That will turn on the uh, filaments in the 6246 finals without those lit. Nothing works, so give that a minute to come on. And then we'll uh, take our drive down here a bit. Go to transmit. And there's always gonna be a little bit of plate current here. Idling plate current, that's a setting in the radio for setting the bias on these final tubes. So once you see that meter going up a bit, you want to give it a little drive here and try to get this pre-select to go for a plate current pop. Do you see that pop? Now take your drive down a bit. Go for the pop again. There's a little pop there. And now go for a plate resonate on for lower plate current. And there's low plate current. You see how that works? We're going for low plate current now unkey okay and now you'll see some output on your meter so now we want to do some set so we're going to take the meter to set mode to do swr so we transmit here and erase the drive to get the meter to go all the way to the pin and now we're at the pin here now we go to read and now we want to dial our swr down with these two controls, let's do that. It's high, turn it until it goes down, down some more, down some more. So you kind of go back and forth until you get it down low. It's a pain, but that's how you do it. Now we're below 1.5. You can get it almost to zero if you really want to try here. Okay, our SWR is negligible now. You can see the meter here we're really down low can we get it gone entirely no but close okay so that's that now we're ready to uh, basically uh, feed the linear amplifier so the linear I can't with these two wires here because I'm not set up for the linear yet but it doesn't matter select 40 meters and get this little plate tuning close. I'm going to leave the load at four because I know the load here works at four. Meter will be on plate current. So now once I key this amplifier, we'll give it a go that way. Okay, the amplifier is keyed and my meter is sticky here, but if you go like this, you'll see I got some plate current on the 
572B tubes in the linear. So now you want to turn this back on, transmit, and take this to the uh, 200 watt scale and see if you can resonate the amplifier. Uh, what do we got here? Whoa, we got some power coming out already. 2000 watt scale. I'm just going to turn the plate on the amplifier for max here, output. And it's pretty much calibrated, so I was able to uh, tune for max. And you can watch the plate current, it'll dip when you resonate. Not much, but it will dip. Alright, and that about tunes it. It's about that simple. Now we can go for some drive and see if we can get more power out of the radio. 2000 watt scale. Here we'll uh, transmit again and increase the drive right here. And that takes us right to 500 watts on uh, 40 meters. I'm not sure I want to go above 500 watts, but that's about right. Could I go above 500 watts? Yep, could go to 600. But the amp is rated for 600, so anyway, that's, that's enough. And that is how to tune a linear amplifier. It's about that simple. All right, if I wanted to go to 15 meters or 20 meters, how would that work? Uncue the amp, 20 meters, 20 meters. Take the radio to 20 meters. There it is. Um, take this guy to 20 meters, and then we repeat the whole process. So I would transmit now without the amp on and try to resonate on 20 meters. That's a lot of drive. Take a drive down. Let's try and resonate on 20. 200 watt scale. Okay, there's some resonance there. Go to set mode. And increase the drive. Go for resonance. We got resonance. A little more drive. Alright, now we're going to go to read. And dial down the SWR. On 20 there it's dialed down that's it now we're ready for the amplifier amplifier is on 20 that's close keep our load at 4 and let's see what happens we'll cue the amplifier here again that should be attached to the radio but it's not okay amps keyed we got some plate current there Let's try now to uh, get the amp going. Let's see what's happening here. 200 watt scale. We already got some power coming out. We got some high plate current here. Let's uh, take a drive down a bit. Just tune this for max. And watch your plate current, it'll dip around a bit down should be max power which i hope it is there we go all right now i can probably i'm gonna leave the load around four you could fool with the load but leave it at four i guess and let's see if we hike up the power a little bit 2000 watt scale and our plate current on our ft102 is pretty good so i'm not worried about that give it some more drive here and Wow, so we can easily do, uh, we can easily do 500 watts here on uh, 20 meters, no problem. How high can I go? You can get about 600 watts out of this thing, I'm not going to bother, but you can get 600 watts out on 20 here. Let's keep it at 500. And how much drive? So this this meter here is showing what's going out of the radio, out of the transceiver into the amplifier. And we're driving it with how much? 45 watts. To get more power out, to get 600 watts out. 
Wow, okay, to get 600 watts out, I drive it with 100 watts. So you see the big difference, it's not worth it. Take a drive down, 500 watt scale. There's 500 watts right there. And we're driving with about 45 watts. That's a good conservative way to run the uh, radio on 20 meters. So that's my little tune up here. And when the app's running, you want to make sure that the plate current is reasonable. That looks reasonable. Make sure the grid current is reasonable. If the uh, grid is too high, which it is, increase the uh, loading here a bit. That will take your grid down. It also reduces your power a bit. You could hike up the drive a tiny bit. And the grid goes <laughs> flying back up on the amp. You want to keep the grid reasonable. So yeah, at about 400 watts, I have reasonable grid. And maybe that's how to go. The 500 watts to get out five or 600 watts is a lot of trouble. Okay, there's 400, a little more drive. Okay, there's 500 and my grid is just barely reasonable. And that's probably how to go. Of course, when you go to USB now and you talk, the uh, amp will dim the uh, house power lines here. You can see when I whistle, the uh, power light on the amp is going dim. So it's sucking up probably about uh, 10 amps of house power when I whistle. The whole house goes dim. Let's see if that'll go dim. Well, the lights that are on power supplies will not go, uh, the LED lights will not dim out, but the uh, incandescents will. KB3W test complete. All right, that's my lesson on how to tune linear. You, uh, you don't need to blow up the amplifier. Just do it carefully, okay? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.